Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Mortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Today we are jumping back into the world of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 to take a look at the best class setup for every single assault rifle here in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Overall, it seems like Black Ops 4 is definitely an AR heavy game, at least as it stands right now. Of course, that could change in the future with different buffs and nerfs happening to different weapons. Maybe they do end up nerfing a lot of the assault rifles or buffing some of the SMGs. That meta might change, but for right now, now, assault rifles are definitely the most dominant class here in my opinion in BO4 and you know rather than having five individual videos on the best class setup for each assault rifle I figured why not throw them all into one video and make the best class setup for every assault rifle in BO4 as one big video so you guys don't have to watch five individual ones we got it all here in one place at the same time so without further ado let's go ahead let's jump in and let's start things off with the ICR 7 in my opinion, the ICR is the best gun in the game right now for one reason, or I guess two reasons. That is grip one and grip two. Grip one is great because it's gonna lower the recoil on the weapon, and let's be honest, the ICR is not a super heavy weapon in terms of recoil. It's pretty manageable by itself. Grip one, though, is pretty much going to eliminate all recoil that there is anyways. Grip two, however, is where this gun really dominates because with grip two, you lose all of your flinch, or your flinch is heavily reduced. So essentially, in every single gunfight you're getting into, even if you're getting shot at, your character is not going to flinch up up or flinch to the right or flinch to the left your aim is going to stay steady it's going to stay on target and you're going to win a lot more gunfights with grip one and grip two on the icr which is already a very strong and powerful weapon as is I also like to run a red dot on the ICR. I feel like in Black Ops 4 a lot, I'm running a lot of sights. I haven't been big on that in the past. Normally, I'm an iron sight kind of guy, but some of the ARs in this game, they just do not have a good iron sight. And I find myself running red dot or elo a lot in this game. Other than the third and final attachment I like to throw on my ICR is either quick draw or long barrel as an alternative. I'm just more of a rush heavy aggressive player and I think quick draw really benefits that because you're constantly running around obviously you want to get your sights up before your enemy does so you can land a few more shots but if you are a bit more of a passive player or maybe an objective based player who likes to you know sit down on long lines of sight or over an objective long barrel might be a better alternative there because it's going to extend that damage range just a little bit and you might be able to pick some players off in a more passive play style. I should probably mention perks but going forward I won't mention them with every single class and that's actually because I pretty much use the same perks setup for every one of my class setups uh, along with the same gear setup so it'll be the same for all these classes it's definitely the most efficient setup I think so in perk one I like to rock scavenger it helps a ton when trying to stay alive longer maybe get a higher score streak or just go for like a nuclear or something like that scavenger obviously is going to be able to help you replenish ammo and that is super beneficial rather than having to try and rely on picking up enemies weapons after you kill them sometimes they can be using a funky weapon like a sniper or an LMG or something you're not really comfortable with and that can completely throw you off Perk 2, I like to use lightweight, especially when running an AR because the ARs do have a little bit more of a slower movement speed compared to something like an SMG. So having lightweight speeds up my running a little bit, allows my gameplay to be a little bit more fast paced. And also you don't take fall damage, which you might not think is a huge deal, but it actually comes in handy quite a bit. I've come to find out. And then also in perk 3, I'm sort of torn because I flip flop a lot between tracker and ghost. I'll use ghost if I do have a suppressor on my weapon, just because it's actually beneficial then. But if I'm using a weapon without a suppressor, every time I I shoot I'm gonna light up on the minimap anyways so having ghost really isn't that useful there um, tracker on the other hand though is what I'll run if I don't have a suppressor because it sort of gives me that uh, awareness advantage where I can see enemy footsteps and I also light up if the enemies see me in their fog of war so it's nice to have that awareness advantage there and then with all the perks covered there I also use something else on every one of my class setups and that is the acoustic sensor it is so so helpful because it allows you to not only hear enemy movements a little bit louder so you can uh, get a better awareness about where exactly your enemies are coming from from hearing them but it also changes how your minimap works you actually get notifications on your minimap from where in game you can hear enemies coming from so you can sort of get that jump on them there too so that'll be my perks and my gear setup for every one of the following classes moving on let's hit up the rampart 17 this is actually a super solid assault rifle for medium to long range engagements up close don't get me wrong it's still decent it just has a little bit of a slower fire rate so it's not super reliable compared to its its long range advantages on it i like to rock the red dot once again i really do not like the the iron sight on this one but that is all just personal preference if you like the iron sights by all means go ahead and use whatever works best for you what I think is absolutely dominant about this weapon though is the combination of high caliber one 
High Caliber 2, and either Grip, Fast Mags, or Long Barrel. High Cal 1 and High Cal 2 are a must on the Rampart. High Cal is obviously going to increase headshot damage, but High Cal 2 is actually going to increase upper body damage. So even if you're not hitting the enemy in the head, if you're hitting them in the chest or higher, the damage is going to be increased, which helps a ton. You absolutely melt everybody with High Cal 2 on the Ramparts. Uh, then like I said, either Grip, Fast Mag, or Long Barrel for that third attachment is super useful. That's just sort of personal preference there. The weapon does have a little bit of recoil in those longer range gunfights, so Grip can help there. Uh, I personally use fast mags a lot just because I feel like the reload time on it is really really slow And it doesn't really benefit my play style as much because if I'm constantly trying to reload I can't be as rush heavy as I'd like to be long barrel another good choice here Especially tied in with that high cal 1 high cal 2 setup because you are now extending the damage range Which is already increased in damage terms by using high cal 2 to the upper body So that one just melts everybody at even a longer distance all of those options though with high cal 1 and high cal 2 are, are super super effective and then we've got the KN57, which is pretty much the KN44 from Black Ops 3. On this, for starters, I like to rock Red Dot or ELO, but honestly, of all the iron sights out of the assault rifles, I actually like the KN57s the most. I'm just really comfortable using the Red Dot and the ELO. I feel like it does improve my accuracy, even though it physically does not add any advantage. It's straight cosmetic. I personally feel like it helps me a little bit, so I like to rock ELO on the KN57 with the three attachment setup of Quick Draw and Stock and either Grip, Hybrid Mag, or extended mag once again this is sort of up to personal preference i'm more of an extended mags kind of guy but grip and hybrid mag are great alternatives as well uh with grip here the weapon doesn't really have a ton of recoil and most of the maps in this game are pretty close quarters so you don't really have a ton of long range engagements but if you are in that medium to long range sight line with the kn57 grip i feel like does help a lot because the recoil is a lot more noticeable there hybrid mag is basically fast mags it does allow you to reload a little bit faster sometimes and just overall is a little bit beneficial in that sense extended mag though i feel like helps a lot because i think you get 55 bullets in a clip with extended mag which you can just spray and pray with the kn57 here and it'll just dominate everybody so my go-to setup is definitely quick draw stock extended mag but like i said grip and hybrid mag are great alternatives as well quick draw though definitely necessary for a rush heavy play style gotta get your sights up first and stock is super beneficial on ars because it allows you to strafe and ads at a faster speed which is really really actually beneficial when you're in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight because you can maneuver a little bit more swiftly than the enemies and sometimes land your shots a little bit easier now we'll move on to the vapor xkg this is personally my favorite assault rifle even though the icr does seem to perform a little bit better i like to flock to the vapor on this i like to rock the elo along with suppressor rapid fire and stock and this is a setup that i actually got from swag xbl i'm sure most of you guys probably know who he is he's a beast at every single call of duty he touches he was the one who actually recommended this class setup to me elo suppressor rapid fire and stock and it is a beast of a class setup it melts close range the uh the vapor honestly feels almost like an smg ar hybrid it's super super good for those of you guys who do have a more aggressive play style and even if you do have a more passive play style the vapor is a very strong ar with really really low recoil and rapid fire does help it kill a lot faster stock obviously going to be great for those gunfights where you can strafe an ads a little bit faster and suppressor just to add that sneak effect this is a class setup where i will rock ghost and i can constantly flank the enemies get behind them get a couple of double triple kills go on some nice streaks it's a super super solid class setup this and the icr are definitely my two most recommended ars you guys use if you're looking to do better in the game and then finally we've come to the maddox rfb the fifth and final assault rifle here in bo4 this is an awkward gun for me because i feel like close range and medium range it's really really good it has a pretty high rate of fire so it kills pretty quick long range though i feel like it's just a hit marker machine Another thing I can't stand about the Maddox is the iron sights on it. I feel like you gotta rock a, uh, a scope on it in some sense. My go-to, once again, is the Red Dot or the Elo. And then my attachment setup is Quick Draw, and then Fast Mag 1 and Fast Mag 2. Fast Mag 2 is super useful, especially if you do have that more aggressive playstyle, because every second magazine auto loads and you just reload faster in general. So you can constantly be jumping in and out of gunfights. Even if you run out of ammo in the middle of a gunfight, you can reload in a split second and jump right back into it, whereas you're enemy they don't have fast mag one if they don't have fast mag two they're gonna have to stop and take a little bit more time to reload and that's when you can get the jump on them get that easy kill so fast mag one fast mag 
two, definitely a deadly combo. Then with Quick Draw, like I said, the Maddox is a great weapon for close to medium range engagements. So Quick Draw, being able to get that side up faster, land those first couple of shots, gonna be a big difference maker in most gunfights. And there you guys have it. Those are the best class setups for every assault rifle here in Black Ops 4. If you guys wanna see more videos like this where I just break down the entire weapon category rather than going weapon by weapon and making, you know, 29 individual videos, we just combine them all into group videos. That way you guys don't have to spend your time searching up each weapon individually. You can just look them all up in one place. I think it's super convenient. If you guys do wanna see more videos like this, be sure to let me know down in the comments below or by slapping that like button. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for the support on the channel since the start of Black Ops 4. I don't think my channel in the six and a half years I've been doing YouTube has ever done this well. So seriously, thank you guys so much to each and every one of you who has watched the videos, subscribed, left a like, left a comment. I seriously appreciate you so, so much. Let's keep the hype train rolling. I am so excited to be bringing you guys videos each and every single day. That'll do it for today. Thank you guys once again so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you later. Peace out.